A pleasant day to our dear parents, teachers, and learners. Welcome to Project DREAM, the vision, remediation, and enhancement of aptitude in mathematics. I am Ms. Joyce B. Esposo. You can call me Ma'am Joyce. I am a teacher from Pleasant Hills Elementary School, and I will be your teacher lecturer for this week's math lesson. Week 1 lesson is using the visibility rules for 3, 6, and 9 to find the common factors of numbers. Objective Use the visibility rules for 3, 6, and 9 to find the common factors of numbers. What is divisible? Divisible means a number which, when divided, has a whole number quotient and the remainder is zero. Are you ready? Let's start with divisibility rule for 3. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. Let's have an example. 186. Is 186 divisible by 3? Let's add the digit. 1 plus 8 plus 6 equals 15. Sum of the digit is 15. Is 15 divisible by 3? Or can we divide 15 by 3 without remainder? Yes, 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Therefore, 186 is divisible by 3. Another example, 2,369. Is 2,369 divisible by 3? Let's add the digits. 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9 equals 20. Sum of the digits is 20. Is 20 divisible by 3? Or can we divide 20 by 3 without the remainder? No. 20 divided by 3 equals 6 remainder 2. Therefore, 2,369 is not divisible by 3. Let's have divisibility rule for 6. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. Remember, all numbers ending in 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 are divisible by 2. These numbers are called even numbers. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. Let's have an example. 318 Let's take a look at the digit in one's place. What is the digit in one's place? Very good! The digit in one's place is 8. 8 is an even number. So, 318 is divisible by 2. One condition is satisfied. Let's check if 318 is divisible by 3. Let's add the digit. 3 plus 1 plus 8 equals 12. Sum of the digits is 12. Is 12 divisible by 3? Or can we divide 12 by 3 without the remainder? Yes, 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Therefore, 318 is divisible by 3. Another condition is satisfied. Since two conditions are satisfied, therefore, 318 is divisible by 6. Another example, 5014. Is 5014 divisible by 6? Let's take a look at the digit in one's place. What is the digit in one's place? Very good! The digit in one's place is 4. 4 is an even number. So 5014 is divisible by 2. One condition is satisfied. Let's check if 5014 is divisible by 3. Now, let's add the digit. 
5 plus 0 plus 1 plus 4 equals 10. Sum of the digits is 10. Is 10 divisible by 3? Or can we divide 10 by 3 without remainder? No! 10 divided by 3 equals 3 remainder 1. Therefore, 5014 is not divisible by 3. One condition is not satisfied. Since 5014 is only divisible by 2 but not divisible by 3, therefore 5014 is not divisible by 6. Let's have divisibility rule for 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of all the digits is divisible or multiple of 9. Divisibility rule for 9 is the same as divisibility rule for 3 wherein we need to get the sum of all the digits. Let's have an example. 1,287 Is 1,287 divisible by 9? Let's get the sum of the four digits. 1 plus 2 plus 8 plus 7 equals 18. Sum of the four digits is 18. Is 18 divisible or multiple of 9? Or can we divide 18 by 9 without the remainder? Yes, 18 divided by 9 equals 2. Therefore, 1,287 is divisible by 9. Another example. 9,345. Is 9,345 divisible by 9? Let's get the sum of the four digits. 9 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 equals 21. Sum of the digit is 21. Is 21 divisible or multiple of 9? Or can we divide 21 by 9 without remainder? No! 21 divided by 9 equals 2 remainder 3. Therefore, 9,345 is not divisible by 9. Let's check if you understand the visibility rule for 3, 6, and 9. Are you ready? Answer the following. Is 240 divisible by 3? Very good! The correct answer is yes. Next, is 2,808 divisible by 6? Very good! The correct answer is yes. Lastly, is 21,990 divisible by 9? Good. The correct answer is no. We can now find a common factor or factors of numbers using the visibility rule for 3, 6, and 9. What is a common factor? Yes, you are right. Common factor is a number that is a factor of two different numbers. Let's have an example. 126 and 144 Is 3 a factor of 126? Let's find out using the divisibility rule for 3. Let's add the digit. 1 plus 2 plus 6 equals 9. Sum of the digit is 9. 9 is divisible by 3. So, 3 is a factor of 126. Is 6 a factor of 126? 
Let's find out using the divisibility rule for 6. Is 126 divisible by 2? Very good! 126 is divisible by 2 because the 1 digit 6 is an even number and 126 is divisible by 3. So, 126 is divisible by 6 and 6 is a factor of 126. Is 9 a factor of 126? Let's find out using the divisibility rule for 9. Sum of its digit is 9. 9 is divisible by 9. So, 9 is a factor of 126. 3, 6, and 9 are factors of 126. Now, let's have 144. Is 3 a factor of 144? Let's find out using the divisibility rule for 3. Let's add the digit. 1 plus 4 plus 4 equals 9. Sum of the digit is 9. 9 is divisible by 3. So, 3 is a factor of 144. Is 6 a factor of 144? Let's find out using the divisibility rule for 6. Is 144 divisible by 2? Very good! 144 is divisible by 2 because the 1's digit 4 is an even number. And 144 is divisible by 3. 144 is divisible by 6. So, 6 is a factor of 144. Is 9 a factor of 144? Let's find out using the divisibility rule for 9. Sum of its digit is 9. 9 is divisible by 9. So, 9 is a factor of 144. 3, 6, and 9 are factors of 144. Therefore, 3, 6, and 9 are common factors of 126 and 144. Another example, 219 and 816. Is 3 a factor of 219? Let's find out using the divisibility rule for 3. Let's add the digits. 2 plus 1 plus 9 equals 12. Sum of the digit is 12. 12 is divisible by 3. So, 3 is a factor of 219. Is a 6 a factor of 219? Let's find out using the divisibility rule for 6. Is 219 divisible by 2? No. Because the 1's digit 9 is not an even number. And 219 is divisible by 3. 219 is not divisible by 6. So, 6 is not a factor of 219. Is 9 a factor of 219? Let's find out using the divisibility rule for 9. Sum of its digit is 12. 12 is not divisible by 9. So, 9 is not a factor of 219. 3 is a factor of 219. Now, let's have 816. Is 3 a factor of 816? Let's find out using the divisibility rule for 3. Let's add the digit. 8 plus 1 plus 6 equals 15. Sum of the digit is 15. 15 is divisible by 3. So, 3 is a factor of 816. Is a 6 a factor of 816? Let's find out using the divisibility rule for 6. Is 816 divisible by 2? Very good! 816 is divisible by 2 because the 1's digit 6 is an even number and 816 is divisible by 3. 816 is divisible by 6. So, 6 is a factor of 816. Is 9 a factor of 816? 
Let's find out using the divisibility rule for 9. Sum of its digit is 15. 15 is not divisible by 9. So, 9 is not a factor of 816. 3 and 6 are factors of 816. Therefore, 3 is the common factor of 219 and 816. Let's practice. Find the common factor of the following set of numbers using the visibility rules for 3, 6, and 9. 1, 72, and 45. Very good! The common factors are 3 and 9. Number 2, 18 and 54. Very good! The common factors are 3, 6, and 9. Lastly, 534 and 618. Very good! The common factors are 3 and 6. You did a great job, kids! I hope you've enjoyed and learned something from our lesson. Keep learning! Thank you for watching! If you have further questions about this lesson, you can send a message to our official Facebook page, Math Team, Mathematics Teachers of Mandaluyo, or you can send a direct message to your math teacher. Again, I am Ma'am Joyce saying, Learners today, leaders tomorrow. Always remember, Matsayang mag-aral, Tayo nang matutong.